Hey guys, Leah here from Unbox and I'm in Shenzhen, China to check out the factory, offices, and stores of Oppo in the area. But one of the perks of being here is that I got to see the Oppo R17 and Oppo R17 Pro. Now if you're from the Philippines and you're interested in the Pro version, I have good news for you because I just got word that it will be available next month. For the build quality and design, if you like gradients and you like them a bit on the flashy side, then you will find this phone very attractive. Surprisingly, it's not the usual glass design that we see in many flagship devices these days. The phone has a matte finish, which I must say is quite refreshing. It also has a nice grip and is easy to hold even for people with small hands. The Oppo R17 Pro has a 6.4-inch Full HD Plus AMOLED display. It has what the company calls the water drop notch, which is just like the one you'll find in the Oppo F9. Thankfully, it's significantly smaller than the notches in most phones out in the market. Another special thing about this device is the under-display fingerprint scanner, which is said to work pretty well. We need to test it out, but we'll let you know in our full review. Oppo is known as the selfie expert, so it's not at all surprising that the front camera is at 25 megapixels with an aperture of f2.0. But what really sets this phone apart is its triple camera setup. It has a 20 megapixel main lens, a 12 megapixel secondary lens, and what they call a time of flight or a TOF 3D stereo camera, which is supposedly more for AR. Honestly, it's hard to tell what it can really do until we've really spent time with the device, so check back on us for the full review. The Oppo R17 Pro runs on a Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 processor with 8GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. This should be more than enough for your day-to-day -day use and even some multitasking on your phone. Juicing up the system are two 1,850 mAh batteries, totaling to 3,700 mAh. Oppo says that the two batteries are there to ensure safety as it comes with Super Voop charging that they say allows you to get a 40% charge in only 10 minutes. As of now, there's no official Philippine pricing for the Oppo R17 Pro yet, but if we're to base it off the price here in China, then it should be around 34,000 pesos. We'll let you know as soon as we get more details. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and hit that notification bell. For the latest tech news and gadget reviews from the Philippines, head to Unbox.ph and follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. This is Leia. Bye!